Hello, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel Xenovision. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can convert a replaced vehicle into an add-on vehicle in your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step how you can do this very quickly. Before we get started, I just want to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. So yes, you have a replaced vehicle, but you want it as an add-on vehicle. That is not possible unless you follow this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Uh, in this scenario, we will be needing a few files to make this work. Uh, if you're watching this and you want to do this, then I can imagine that you already have most of these files. So the first step we need to do is you need to smash that uh, subscribe button. You need to uh, subscribe to the channel because you need to join my Discord. To join my Discord, you need to be subscribed first to the YouTube channel. Uh, after you've done that, you can go to the description link. There will be a Discord link. You can then join our Discord. So let's hop over to Discord. So after you hit subscribe button and join the Discord, you will be redirected here. This is our Discord server. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, giveaways, so feel free to stay. Also, we have a support jet page where you can open up a post, a ticket for a support ticket, and we will help you out with any problem you have. Uh, so yeah, for this story, we're going to go to the Grand Theft Auto Resources section. As you can see right here, we have the files ready. How to convert, convert replace vehicles to add-on vehicles. You will need open IV. I I think you already have it. The game convict file, files you need here, script V, native trainer or Minio trainer. We'll be using the Minio trainer. All these four links are a tutorial on YouTube and how to install them. For this video, we'll only we'll be only using the last two files. That's gonna be the install add-on creator vehicle and the install vehicles you want to install. So let's go over to those two files. So yeah, these are the two links that we're going to visit. Uh, we're just going to hit download here and download again. And in the second page, we're going to do the same. Download and download again if it doesn't download right away. Now the next step is to go to your Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and the download folder of the files that we just downloaded. So let's hop over there. Okay, on my left side, I have the uh grand theft auto game directory folders as you can see i have multiple i like to separate my plugins like iron man avengers etc uh lspdfr the dutch police i have them all separated and i always make a backup i can't say this enough just make a backup whenever you install every three four plugins that you install just copy it copy it and paste it it will come as folder number two and whenever you want to play with that one just change the name to this one whenever you want to play with the other one change this, this to something else and change this to this name and then you will play with that game right there so let's go over to the tutorial again and we're going to extract these two folders right click and hit extract in windows also with the vehicle we want to make an add-on just extract it and yeah uh we're gonna open up first of all the mercedes vehicle and we're gonna go to template no replace sorry it's a replace vehicle we're gonna go just right here and we're gonna go to files and here you'll have uh names for the vehicle we're gonna change the name to the one we want to spawn it to gtr in this case i will name it but you can name it whatever you want and gtr and the last one gtr just is replace only the name not that last part as you can see okay that is done the next step is to go back and go to add on creator vehicle open it up and run anyway on your own risk of course i'm doing it so we can go to uh, select here buffalo because it's a sedan vehicle and we're going to name it gtr and we're going to create add-on and uh, choose your installation location so i'm going to choose this location right here that's this folder right here a new folder will be added i'm going to hit ok and there you have it okay there we have it that's the folder we, we don't need this application anymore. What we need now is to open up OpenIV. Let's go ahead and open OpenIV. Hit Windows. Again, if you don't have OpenIV, check out the tutorial before in the link on my Discord. Okay, we have OpenIV opened up. We're going to hit Edit Mode. Click OK. We're going to go to the Update folder, X64, DLC Packs. 
and here we can drag and drop this folder right here into here and then we'll go all the way down we're going to open it up hit dlc and here we can choose to copy the mods folder if that's what you want it's not necessary i will leave it like this uh we can also just copy it it doesn't really matter i always make backups so this is why they asking you to do this is whenever you come into a problem you can just delete your mods folder but I have had so many times that that was not true. It still would not make the game work. So I always make backups. Okay. Then we're going to go to common data levels, GTA five. No, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry about that. Where was I? Yeah, we were here at DLC packs. We added this vehicle GTR, go to the DLC, uh, X64 levels gta 5 vehicles vehicles again and here is where we're gonna add the files that we renamed right here right here right here right here again and we're gonna select them and drag and drop them in this folder right here so that's also done the next step is to go back to the grand theft auto main directory folder in uh grand theft auto then we're gonna go to uh update again update again common data and the game convict the dlc list okay this one i already have in my mods folder i know that but you can also just edit it here if you have not copied uh also would say right here not showing mods folder so i'm going to do showing mods folder and go to the dlc list yeah we're going to right click on it and hit edit okay we're going to go all the way down and we're going to select the last line right here exactly like i do i'm going pretty fast because i want to keep it short and simple for you guys if you don't if i'm going too fast just go a bit back in the video so i select the last line fully and i copied it i'm going to hit enter at the last letter or icon item hit enter oh that went wrong that went wrong see i'm just going to close it down not save it i don't know what i pressed edit again go all the way down select the last line Control c for copy hit enter Control v for paste and now we're going to change this name right here exactly like the folder's name okay and we're going to save it okay and now we can close this down that's about it folks now we can actually open up grand theft auto so let's go ahead and do that okay we're going to open up grand theft auto and let it lo load up i'm gonna skip this part for you guys okay we're in the game uh the recording might be laggy that's okay it's just my recording uh platform obs is doing a bit weird with grand theft auto i don't know why but just to be clear i don't see any lag in the game uh okay so we're gonna hit f8 for the menial trainer of f9 again if you don't have menial trainer watch the tutorial on the discord so for me it's f8 uh, you hit it twice, go to vehicle option, uh, go to vehicle spawner, go up once, input model, hit enter, and then GTR. That's the name that we gave it, or any name that you gave it, hit enter, and there you have it, folks. That's the vehicle. It is working, as you can see. So, I can't really tell if you guys see it clearly or it's lagging or not. I think it's lagging a bit yeah it's lagging definitely so uh but it's working perfectly fine for me uh this is the vehicle and yeah that's about this that's about it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash that like button and then that subscribe button thank you all for watching and goodbye